value should be given top priority in education at any level a empathy is more important than sympathy every individual child is having some resources the obedience by a from the by a part of students and sincerity of teachers in understanding the children age does not matter but uh, learning ability should be given priority and they should be assisted in understanding the concepts the art of teaching is the art of assisting discovery hello everybody i am your host seema and i welcome you all to another insightful session on great principles joining me in conversation is my very thoughtful educator of the day who believes in open teacher student relationship so that the learning can happen in the most desirable manner with the best possible outcomes my guest today is dr s sekar shrinivasan he is senior principal and director mahatma gandhi school of excellence thorai your tamil nadu welcome to great principal sir we are very honored to have you with us today the honor is mine also madam thank you very much you are doing a human service for our motherland and that too during this days of independence day celebrations this getting broadcasted to all the people around the globe is a very nice gesture on your part thank you thank you so much sir we are really very happy to hear this this truly motivates me and my entire team so sir now let us begin to know a little more about you so take us back to your once upon a time how did this journey in education domain started what were the learnings and what keeps you going in here yeah. nice you see my childhood days i studied in a uh, gurukula under our own guru uh, sri krishna premi maharaj and uh, learnt the epics and other aspects of uh, vedas later my father who was uh, a government servant was transferred all uh, all the time and therefore i did my schooling in nearly 13 places completing 11 years of school education throughout tamil nadu as well as andhra pradesh karnataka these three states we were there traveling and uh, that helped me a lot to how a taste towards teaching because in my earlier days i moved with so many teachers they were so kind and affectionate that somehow or other at that time every district was having its own syllabus and curriculum so they were trying to help me so i decided that one uh, i should study well as well as i should become a teacher so that i can help lot of students in bringing their attitude level to a greater extent and all so our professors when i did my college studies and other things also they encouraged me whenever they asked me what was your aspiration and all i said i want to become a good teacher and all dr sargudas the great principal of bishaheber college in which i did my graduation and then post graduation etc he gave me a chakis and told me that you should constantly be writing because he, at that time he was 70 years old he told me that till 80 years you should be practicing teaching so that guided me throughout my life and uh, i could uh, uh, visit so many institution i was a student i presented nearly 6 or 7 of my research papers under the direct chairmanship of dr abdul kalam and uh, Um, many gates many professors my professor was the granddaughter of uh, sir cv romans uh, a directed uh, student so in that lineage also i could heredity heredity uh, uh, what i can say is that i could understand that teaching is the best profession in the world which will transform this thing and that too especially during the contemporary uh, time of changes earlier changes were taking place in decades and then came in years now you can see every week both the teachers as well as the children should be in a position to have some uh, good counseling so teacher as a facilitator it is a novel job so 
uh, throughout my career i began my uh, work as a teacher a postgraduate teacher in physics and then later after research i joined as professor in chodi in engineering colleges and then our own family is having um, uh, educational institutions i become the dean and director of that particular thing now as a new business entrepreneurship we have started in a, a grow some 20 acres land here in a remote village because our idea is to take this education to rural mass actually uh, my aspiration as per the guidelines of my guru is that we should uh, go to rural places and for the rural masses the downtrodden people and uh, we just charge 2500 rupees per year per cbst pattern of education here so like that and all uh, kindly don't mistake me that i am advertising it and all but the aspects i am trying to put in here is that uh, for those rural masses we have started a, a new institution i am a uh, uh, guru as well as myself started uh, thinking that we should have good teachers who are set on moral values ethical values and they should be knowing shreyohi gnanam abhyasat gnana gyanam vishishyate gyanat karma palatyagan tyaga shanti ranant this is again in the 12th chapter of bhagavad gita lord krishna says that particular thing you get the shreyas only through this abhyasa for that we want the reputed teachers so we started first bed college here and then we just narrated a program for those good teachers whom we want as teachers we gave them employment we started montessori school and thereby the cbsc school of education got uh, done and thereby now we are incorporating the real ethical value based education here no doubt every year number of students are getting mbbs and other such as sort of the content courses and other thing but this is the started on a very humble small way now it is flourishing in our institution nearly some four thousand five hundred students are there and therefore i really feel happy that we are also in a position to do something as per the guidelines of our great dr apj abdul kalam wow so your journey is truly inspirational taking inspiration from your own gurus following their path and ensuring that the quality education much reach to all and especially where there is real need you are doing something which is very much needed you are inspiring so many people to educate more and more people because education is only what can make the country also flourish along with the community definitely so so i i would like to thank you and congratulate you also for taking this up because this is very much needed very few people are willingly take up education as their sector these days and even those those who are there there is purely commercial purpose behind it but you are emphasizing on value education and this is really what is needed today so i'm really fortunate enough to have a conversation with you and understand your journey more so now let us move ahead to our next section which is called yeah. rapid fire round sir right nice. you need to answer me in one word or a single yeah. sentence okay okay so my first question to you one thing from gurukul days you would like to bring back to modern day classroom mm. uh, that is the obedience by uh, from the by a part of students and sincerity of teachers in understanding the children absolutely very much needed according to you how should children be differentiated should they be differentiated according to their age or according to their learning abilities in two different grades actually nowadays the contemporary level age does not matter but uh, learning ability should be given priority and they should be assisted in understanding the concepts yes because you know i still remember that uh, during the gurukul days we had all the children of different age under one single classroom there were no classroom distinguish between them so this is what i always wondered that why do we always segregate children on the basis of age it should be rather on the basis of learning abilities wonderful answer sir moving ahead to my next question what do you do when you are not teaching 
I used to read a lot. I write number of articles. I continue my research in education as well as the clinical psychology, as well as uh, this Vedic studies. In those uh, fields, I am interested, and therefore I study a lot and hear a lot from the great lectures that are being uh, delivered by great educationists around the world. Wow, wonderful, sir. Can values be taught? Yes, absolutely. It is the need of the day. And therefore, we expect that values should be given top priority in education at any level, right from primary level to university level. It should be considered. What are your views that now our economy is a globally connected economy? So what do you think? Should our children be given experiences from standard eight itself, the industry experience? Yes, you are absolutely right, madam. I have my own personal experience with my son and daughter in that aspect. Therefore, they, because they were given some exposure towards these things, uh, because at the time, whenever I attend international conferences, I used to take my children with them, with me, and they used to observe what is globally going on. And therefore, when he was doing his master's at uh, Aachen University, Germany, we could uh, very well feel ease in learning the industry education institutional relationship. And uh, now he is a successful product manager in Samsung Group. My daughter is also like that. So I want what I practice in my house, I feel that the society should also follow that and they should be benefited out. Absolutely. So I'm very hopeful about NEP coming in. NEP is already emphasizing on a lot of practical exposure, a lot of industrial visit, choosing your in our, subjects. In our institution also, along with the Caterpillar India Limited, we have started such a movement right from the uh, ninth standard, instead of you have told eighth standard, from ninth standard onwards, they will be given industrial exposure on two days per week. One day practical aspects, another day theoretical aspects, like that. After completion of that 12th standard, they will be absorbed as uh, apprentices and that is helpful to them in a greater way. Absolutely, you know. So sir, every institution help. should be tied up with some industry and they should have practical knowledge. Work. Certainly, sir. Certainly, you know. So every institute should take this up and give children an exposure at early age. So they are clear what they want to, which industry, which segment they want to step in as they grow. And this is how we can inculcate the habit of creating the economy where there are more job creators rather than seekers. You know, so yes. this will be such a entrepreneurs will become more. Entrepreneurs yeah, so will become more. Hmm. Entrepreneurs will become more. Moving ahead to my next question. I know that you always aspire to be a teacher, but still, suppose if you were not an educator, what you would have been? Probably <laughs> I would have become a chartered accountant. <laughs> chartered, chartered accountant. Chartered accountant. All right. Moving I ahead to my uh, next pursued question. my MBA and uh, uh, only to quench my trust on that. Okay, wonderful, sir. So moving ahead my, to my next question. If we were to write a book, what would be the topic on which you would write the book and what would be the title of your book? The Contemporary Challenges in Educational Field and Parental Care for the Modern Day Kids. These are the two topics yes. that are lingering in my mind. And I think most, both are very much relevant in today's time. So when we are talking about parents, so one piece of advice for our parents. They should try to understand the children and unnecessarily they should not give a lot of room for freedom. They should uh, guide them in a proper way that uh, no should also be known to them. Yeah. Always, yes is not a correct parameter. So parents, they can be a guide as well as affectionate people who will be in a proper uh, molding uh, uh, that is personalities. 
coming up to the next question do you think that assessing all the children on the basis of same examination paper is a right thing to do yes or no no i i have my own view that uh, every individual child is having some resources that should be explored right from sister standard and uh, though there may be a common examination for the masses that we are considering yet individual assessment should be done by the principal as well as the teachers so that that should be given priority while they go for higher education the, absolutely that sir. assignment part should also be there the continuous Very well said, sir. Hmm. yes and i think since the cbc introduced this continuous comprehensive evaluation which was beautiful yes. practice yeah uh, excellent we have so. dr vinit joshi vinit uh, he was an excellent gentleman who was uh, director for that uh, time and he introduced that and uh, uh, we had lot of complimentary certificates and other things uh, from the then hrd ministers uh, i was a member in that group also that cce pattern really helped but uh, because of lot of documentation work uh, <laughs> some teachers uh, suggested that uh, this is more cumbersome that's all otherwise no, it's yeah. a one sir i'm sure it can be brought back with the advent of technology anything can be simplified and once yes. we have this pattern somehow you know on the basis of an application where just minimal data entry is there i'm sure it can work very well you are you are 100% true because our educational institutions are now heading towards academic audit so for that the cce pattern will be the great boon so you are 100% right coming ahead to the last question of this section so what is one thing about you which many people would not know people think that uh, i am very strict and <laughs> disciplinarian <laughs> but it is not so uh, actually i love people i love my country i i want to see god in every creature that is my real soul but uh, as a person who is an administrator i cannot just expose myself too much that is it absolutely sir you know so sitting at the chair of as a head of the school you need to play both the roles you have to be soft as well as strict so that you know you do not just lose everything and get you have control on yeah. everything but at the end of the day en empathy is more important than sympathy certainly It's completely agree with you sir so it was great to know you in this section now we have reached to the last question of the show which is also called the expert talk question so we were talking about lot about bringing in value education assessments and all we spoke on different verticals so i truly believe that for education to really happen in true sense teachers play a very crucial role without good teachers we cannot have the results we have seen this in covid times no one can replace teachers not even technology technology can be a toolbox in the hands of teacher and teacher has changed its role from time to time today teacher is looked upon as a facilitator as a mentor as a friend there is so much expected from a teacher i would like to know from you your thoughts on teacher student relationship so that the education can happen in its true sense yes it is a very very important thing in the process of learning that a teacher as a second parent in the institution has to guide with the values so they should be updating their knowledge through lot of in service training program and other aspects the modern ch the child is capable of uh, using this technological tool in a more versatile manner than the teacher therefore they should be confident enough to know what is taking place around the world what is the connectivity it is a gone of the days when we could we could say that i am also i am just a sixth standard teacher i am an eighth standard teacher something like that and all another important aspect is that earlier every family were having not less than six or seven children in their house now a single baby norm has influencing the parents to interact with the teacher more and they are coming into the system 
and when we want to use this technology that is uh, net to web based education uh, all these aspects because everything is available the global library is available in our olden days we used to starve for books the first time when i was doing my research paper i used to go and wait for weeks in indian institute of science bangalore for getting some reference literature but now in 5 seconds people are in a position to take that particular thing only aspect is he as you rightly said teacher as a mentor as a facilitator as well as a close uh, our relator to the parents they should be in a position to uh, what i can say guide that is more important they should try to make the children as well as parents to understand that it is yeah, finally the atma gyan for 25 years of life in the initial stage they are learning some or other and then they are replacing that for making money for another 25 years the remaining 50 years sadayush purushaha nowadays with the uh, advent of uh, good medicine as well as other uh, health care system people will easily live up to 100 years so 50 years they will have to spend their life means uh, that atma bodha should come that will come through real or uh, self realization aspect therefore the teacher who should be an ever long guide throughout the life of a student i have seen in my life and i am also seeing many teachers are like that or even if he becomes a president of a commercial institution they are coming and asking that physics or chemistry teacher what i should do in this crux so they should always make the confidence they should build the confidence because my core towards education is that education is that which reduces mental conflict and enhances self confidence at the end of the day a person should stand in his own legs at that time definitely he will search for a person who can be trusted the teacher should inherit that prosperity of being a trustworthy person all the way that he will be the touchstone for any student at any time that will in a long way set a beautiful society and which we were inheriting in the earlier days of bharat you see some 300 years back the system of education that was provided in india was more teacher student oriented with the 100% trust of the society not only the parents but also the society on the teachers and this methods definitely the days are closer to us we will be uh, regaining back our original prasava that is the origin days of bharat the now bharat will be definitely be the great bharat very rightly said sir in order to get our uh, glorious history back we need to give empower our teachers more our uh, students society needs to trust teachers more and you know let everyone do their job yes you rightly said that parents are very much involved today with just one or two kid in the house parents involvement is essential but not interference we want parents to be involved but do not interfere similarly when parents show trust in teacher automatically the child also show that kind of a trust a teacher i hope i can to... i can i can just to take one word here the Certainly, purpose Uh, the way in which parents so what you are saying is uh, most of the parents are high tech parents uh, who are yeah. knowledgeable in a particular domain and they want to exhibit that in the midst of other student but they are concerned about their children only but a teacher has to take care of all the 40 children who are there in the classroom coming from various platform so that the conflict is always there as you are rightly pointing out at the right place absolutely so so as parents also we also have a lot of responsibility of playing the right kind of we need to be a right kind of role model and when we exhibit the kind of interest in school activities when we show the respect towards teacher it passes on and yes a teacher is a very powerful personality in the life of a student she is the one or he is the one who can make a child fall in love with any subject with any aspect and trust me i have seen children taking up a particular field just because they loved their teacher 
they love the way she taught that subject to them so this is the power a teacher has so to all my dear teachers all my dear educators we salute you because you are shaping not only us rather the future of the country is in the classroom today so thank you so much for all the efforts that you take shekhar sir it was great to hear you there is so much more to learn from you but yes we have time limit yeah. and uh, it was uh, truly a very insightful knowledgeable session and i'm sure my viewers had gained a lot i love the practices that you are following and uh, with people like you who are joining hands together i'm sure there is a very brighter future for all of us thank you so yeah. much sir thank you. thank you very much you are so interesting and you are just kindling more interest for me to do the survey for the society thank you very much thank you thank you so much sir i'm glad i could uh, you know just throw a little more light on the way you are going to thank you so much